Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jocelyn Lovely Tara. So good to see you guys here today. This reading is going to be for my Capricorns. If you guys resonate with the video, like, share, and subscribe. Alright guys, this is a hard reading. I was asked to use the Starseed Oracle deck for some reason. I was drawn to it, so I'm, I'm going to go here with this. Okay, we're going to start with this. Look at this. Cracked open. Rock bottom. Some of you guys here, again... We're at a point in your life where you've done enough healing. At this stage, there was a certain amount of healing that uh, you were exposed to. Some truths you were exposed to. And for some reason, it's almost it's almost as if like you were due for this type of healing at this time. And uh, this healing is so ancient. This, this, this pain that you were meant to, to experience at this time is so old it's as old as time this type of pain I, I can tell it's a pain that your ancestors have felt through and through for ages and they just carried that that burden with them that weight that 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 feeling it's that feeling that 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 people run from when they face that feeling right that pain is not only so ancient but it's 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 a pain that you just hate feeling right so when you were a kid every time you experienced this type of pain you couldn't cope with it it was too too powerful too painful it's those feelings of loneliness those feelings of of feeling like you aren't one with the universe it's those feelings that, that, that the shadow feels right it's that feeling where you feel unheard left out in the cold nobody loves you it's, it's those type of uh negative i don't even want to call it let's not call it anything right it's just feelings they're they're just feelings that's all they are they're not good they're not bad there's just something that you've felt for a very 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 long time Okay, and you didn't know how to cope with it, right? So what you would do instead of let yourself feel these emotions, as a kid, if you're not taught how to feel this properly, you run and you you, you learn how to cope with them in a different way. For some of you guys, it turned into addictions. It could have been food, sex, uh, cigarettes, weed, narcotics, alcohol, anything. It's all on the table, right? Whatever your obsession is, shopping, it's all there. And so you grew up, th that was the only way you knew how to cope with these emotions, right? And then here you are, present day and age, that, that pain comes back again, but this pain is deeper. It's the deepest one you felt before, ever. You felt this before, but again, the way you coped, you're trying to, to cope better, right? But again, it comes up. And so some of you guys, it was so painful, instead of allowing yourselves to feel it, you ran back to the old coping mechanisms because that's all you know how to do. Remember, you this is what you've been doing your whole life since you were a kid. So it's old programming. You don't know how to. The, the only way to get over this pain is to to act out. Is to go cope with your addictions, right, or any type of addiction or whatever it is that you do, right. No judgment here. We all have some type of coping mechanism. So then you're here now. For some of you guys, over the last few weeks. You couldn't deal with it. You coped. You went out there and said, this is the only way I know how to cope. I'm going to do things that don't reflect the current version of me. I'm going back to old patterns because that's that's the only way I know how to run from this pain. And so you ran. And, and then you felt guilty for doing the thing you know how to do the best. Which is coping. May not, I don't care, you, you could call it a bad way of coping, you can call it whatever, it's just your way of coping. It's your, it's perfectly designed for you, it's what's helped you get through. It's what's helped you survive. So, judging it isn't going to make it better. You judging yourself isn't going to make it better. You, 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 a lot of you guys slipped and, and did what you, you know, went to old ways of being. And that's okay. The divine was still there. The divine is still there, still loves you. Uh, your shadows are there. They're in pain. They don't know. How, it was just so painful. That's all they knew to do. So instead of judging your shadow or, your, or yourself for doing things that you, that you normally would have in the past, forgive yourself. Be kind to yourself. Because at the end of the day, even though you ran out there, right? You try to run out there to avoid this feeling. Here you are, right? <laughs> With the new path. 
You could, it don't matter where the fuck you went, right? You can go anywhere in the universe. It does not matter. Your feelings are going to go with you. And here they are. You cannot run from this pain. It, it was about time that you faced this, whatever this pain was. And unfortunately, it got the best of you. And that's okay. I don't want you to, to, to beat yourself up about it. Be like, okay, I did it. It is what it is. It's a new day. And then after you try to cope with it the best way that you could, you realize the feelings are, are still there. They're not going anywhere. So here you are. Time's up. You've ran long enough. And the flood is here. But what you don't see is that when you release the gates of pain or that flood or the, the tears or whatever it is, this pain that you've been holding on to for years, it, it actually just wa it, it waters your, your garden. You're nurturing your garden. Are you just allowing yourself to feel pain that you the insurmountable amount of pain that you just couldn't when you were a kid? So here you are. A grown-up facing it dealing with it and all I ask is for you to be as compassionate to yourself as you can because there's no right way to do it we all do what we do and we're human so this is a safe and open space for you to be non-judgmental to yourself because there's no point in beating yourself up for doing something that you've known to do your whole life no matter how uh much you've changed right this this pain brought you back to a place where you're you you were so scared you literally tricked yourself into running away from the situation to not have to deal with it and here you are finally dealing with it crying and 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 just allowing yourself to feel all of this fucking sadness look at the difference of feeling of emotions you're letting yourself feel things that you've never had before. And you're terrified because you don't know how to do it. You don't know how the process works. It's too painful. You think you're doing it wrong. You, 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 you don't understand what's going on. You feel so burdened. You feel so alone. You feel so deserted. And you just know that you're out of control. There's, you have no control over this. This is out of your league, out of your element. This is, this is you finally letting yourself feel for the first time. And it is painful. Remember, emotions are just temporary. They're here as it is. Some of you guys may feel like you're dying inside. Some of you guys are feeling like you're abandoning hope. There's no hope. You're never going to learn. You're never going to grow. All evidence to the contrary. This is how you're feeling. But this is what, what you're really doing. Is you're nurturing yourself. You're allowing yourself to heal and to feel how could you ascend or talk about ascension, right? Because people love talking about ascension. How could you ascend without allowing every aspect of yourself to be heard? What the hell do you think ascension is, right? When you allow the shadow to be a part of that process, that's the part that needs the most healing. How can you say I'm higher self and I'm ascended? Your fucking shadow's a part of it. You are like, like, uh, who does who Deepak Chopra says, you are the gods, you are the demons, you are all of it. Some of you guys want to ascend, but you forget that you can't ascend without every aspect of self, including the parts that you hate about yourself the most, which is this. That's the reason you hate yourself because you, uh, haven't healed this. But the minute you do, here's your garden. You talk about love and self-acceptance. How can you talk about love and self-acceptance if you hate this version of yourself? Well, you say you hate it, but you haven't even dealt with it until now. You deal with your shadow now, and guess what? In a few weeks, a few months, you're going to love yourself. And then you can look back on this experience and tell people, yeah, yeah, that, that, how else do you think you're going to learn to love yourself? You got to heal that pain that's been in your generational, lin in your lineage for eons. The only difference with them is that they went and coped and didn't know how to feel this. But you did. And therefore you can ascend. We all ascend as much as we can. And then when we go away, somebody else comes in and tries to ascend the lineage just a little bit more. You're doing everything you can.
All right, that's all I have. Bye.